Well, let's try um, a harder example of this, and uh, then maybe we'll move on to the next topic. So uh, let's take a look at the next table, which is more complicated. And now let's try this. Let's try to get this out on paper. You guys can help get, get started, and if you get stuck, you know, give us some help. Okay. One thing that would be excellent to do is to start by just writing the general rate expression. Notice again, we're not using the coefficients from the equation as the exponents. We have to figure out the coefficients from the data. Let's just keep proceeding. Oh, okay. 
So you figured out that x was 1. So we want to make sure we go back and put that in our overall rate expression. And it's good that you're putting the bigger rate over the smaller rate. That way we don't end up with a 1 half over here when we do the division. I almost forgot. So what should z be? Two. Right. So this is the first time we haven't had an exponent of 1, but it's not too hard to use process of elimination. Again, really the only exponents you probably have to check are 0, 1, and 2. Well, the exponent of 2 works here. I just wanted to point out again, why is it good to use experiment 1 and experiment 4? Because these two concentrations are the same, so they cancel, but it's not necessary anymore. Even if we couldn't find two rows where these were all the same, we could still now figure out z because we know these exponents so we could do this division if we had to. Even if these weren't canceling, we could still do the division on our calculator and still solve for the right value of z. Sometimes you see that as a hard question. So um, we only need, strictly speaking, we only need rows where a concentration is constant when we don't know its exponent yet. So I mean, for a perfect example would be like this problem, and let's say the only exponent were given or we figure out first one for x. Right. Theoretically then, we can solve for the y and the z just having that one because, or do we need more? Well, you, you still need extra data from the table. My point is just that once we have an exponent for x, you don't need any more to look at rows where the concentration of this is constant. Oh, as long as you have the exponent. Yeah, because even if, this even if these didn't cancel, you could still get a number for this. Okay. Okay. 
um, and then we can figure out what we need in here. All right, and it's good that you guys are still putting the bigger rate on the top to make our life uh, easier here. 